for breakfast. Two apples, bacon, and biscuits. Well, forget the apples. Slap some bacon on a biscuit and let's go. We're burning daylight. Whoa, Right. 
Weighing about 5,500 pounds with 18 inch long teeth. Now they do spend most of their day in the water to keep them overheated. Coming out primarily at night to feed on grasses. Ah, uh, more hippo in the water weight to our left. A group of hippos is called the blue, and they can hold their breath about seven to eight minutes, even sleeping underwater. Also, some pinkback pelicans along the waterway. A pinkback pelican get their name from the color their feathers change during mating season. Growing 18 to 20 feet long, they can take down very large prey such as zebra and wildebeest. In a single meal, they can eat about half their body weight worth of food. You might even see some with their mouths open to help regulate their bodies. So some Nile just broke a deer and getting grassland. Much of the appearance of the savanna does come from the wildlife living here. A giraffe prone back the trees allowing light through for the grasses to grow. Springbok, eland, wildebeest, and many others that like lawn mowers, trimming back the tall grasses. I do see some springbok uh, to our right. Uh, may look small from here, but they are fully grown around 100 pounds. Get their name from their ability to spring about 6 feet into the air, or 13 feet forward as they run. dogs off to our left, also known as puma dogs. They're one of the most successful predators in all of Africa, teaming up as packs to run down the prey. Now they're successful at hunting about four to five times the hunt. They come from a separate line of the canine family than your own pets, having four toes for the yeah. that may be lurking in the tall grasses. Ah, very cool. I see uh, some Maasai giraffe to our left. Often standing under 20 feet in height. At birth, they're about 6 feet tall. You can stand in under an hour after being born. Allowing them to nurse from their tall mothers or run from predators if needed. I also see some wildebeest out across the savanna. Now, wildebeest are part of the largest migration on Earth, often migrating over a thousand miles a year in search of greener grasses. I also see some Hartman's Mountain zebra out across the savanna. I know two zebra ever have the same stripes, much like a person's fingerprints. Did you have uh, the Hartman's are? Uh, Mountain zebra to our right, but a couple more beside giraffe on that hill to our left amongst the thick brush. Does anyone know what a group of giraffe is called? Tower. Any guess? It's got to be something tall, right? A tower. Yeah, a tower of giraffe. You knew that. <laughs> they can actually run over 30 miles an hour, and their kick is strong enough to break the jaw of a lion. Looks like a very tall adult male in the shade of that those trees. Maybe a young son of his next to him, it looks like. So majestic. Definitely a good view of the zebra and wildebeest turn right. A wildebeest are 
per the largest migration on Earth, often migrating over a thousand miles a year in search of greener grasses. Also, an eland off to our right, one of the largest antelope in all of Africa. They're often uh, way over 2,000 pounds when fully grown. Well, just around these rocks to our left is Monkey Point. Uh, from there, it's a short drive to elephant country where hopefully we'll find some more wildlife. Ah, uh, very cool. Some mandrels off to our left. One of the largest variety of monkey in the world. The males weigh up to 100 pounds, females about 30 to 40. Very colorful variety of monkey. Oh, very cool. A very young mandrel sitting uh, on its mother's lap there, Charla. In the shade of the thick brush. Might be just a few months old by its size. Always nice to find new additions out here on the reserve. Oh yeah, there is an elephant coming behind us to our right. It appears to be a male elephant. A male elephant tends to live solitary lives. When they hit maturity around the age of 13, they are pushed out of their herds onto their own, only rejoining herds for short periods of time. I would like to see if we can maybe find a herd of elephants today, since we found him out here. Our herd has been seen down this road to our right in the past. So hopefully we'll find some more elephants in this direction. Definitely being a favorite of many here on our reserve. Oh, it looks like the road's closed though. I was really hoping to find more elephants that way. I think I remember an old bridge around the corner though. Hopefully the old bridge is still there. It was really old the last time I saw it. So I'll keep my fingers crossed that it's still here. Ah, there's old bridge now. It's still here, but looks awfully old. Should we get over it? Yeah. All right, we'll head over. Holy boy, very slowly since it does look very old. Looks like someone repaired it with some cables, though, so we should be all right. It even sounds a little old, but I think we're fine. It seems okay to me. There go our front tires, and there go our back tires. Made it across their gate. I think we'll avoid that in the future. Seems a little too old to me. Uh, the red plate pits are just around the corner. At times, elephants are seen coming here. Definitely not the diets. Ah, some tusk marks in the clay. Right in there in the area. We'll have to keep our eyes open for them. Oh, there they are off to our left right now. Herds are usually made up of just females and their children, often led by the eldest female in their herd, which often find food in the yard. Elephants at times have, they'll see farms as sources of food. Invading those farms for that food often leads to bad outcomes for both the farmer and the elephant. Now, the Disney Wildlife Conservation Fund has been studying these issues. And found that elephants don't like bees, they don't like being stung. So by adding beehives to farms, they can actually help protect both the farmer and the elephant from each other. Also providing a source of income for the farmer from the sale of the honey, the pollination of more crops.
definitely could hear the flamingo and a couple of elephants off to our left. Fairly young one uh, elephant over there near that bale bob tree. Probably three or four years old by her size. Might be her mother not far behind her there. Definitely a beautiful bird, the flamingo also. 